The beauty of the Disco Bolas in ancient times has evolved today to the Frisbee, a perfect airfoil, streamlined for flight and maximized for lift. The Frisbee, if one looks closely, contains multiple ridges or concentric rings. These circles are not there for aesthetics, but greatly aid in the aerodynamics of the disc. It may not look like much, but the ridges, highlighted here, provide an important function for the disc. As air initially hits the disc, it accelerates over the curved edge before encountering the small raised grooves of the disc. This layer of air is called the boundary layer. It interacts with the object in flow, the disc. The boundary layer gives an effective shape for the object, based on how streamlined it is. By creating turbulence, the ridges keep this layer close to the surface of the frisbee, minimizing the dead zone behind the frisbee. This decreases drag and increases lift, similar to an airfoil. We can see this more clearly with our first experiment, where a mixture of kerosene and fluorescent paint powder display the turbulence made by the ridges in region B. This turbulence causes a smoother flow in region A and C. This is important for keeping the boundary layer closer to the surface, which minimizes the pressure differential between the front and back of the disc, increasing lift and thus keeping the frisbee in flight longer. The turbulence along the ridges can actually create vortices by reattaching itself to the frisbee as demonstrated through our experiment with streamlines in a wind tunnel. as well as the no-slip boundary condition occurring here. We hope that you have enjoyed this film and learned a thing or two about Frisbees.